Welcome to the Midwest Natural Garden. We're discussing more native plant combinations, and this one includes a few staple natives that would work for either a residential or commercial landscape. Today we're at what we call the Island Garden on the property. Personally, this is my favorite space at the Midwest Natural Garden. Starting off the season, we first get a glimpse of one of the most popular ephemerals out there, Vertensia virginica, or Virginia bluebells. Known for their show-stopping blue flowers, Vertensia will start flowering as soon as early April through the height of spring. Their initial pink buds morph into varying shades of blue that you often see painting the woodlands this time of year as they love to naturalize and spread by exploding seed pods. Vertensia flowers are an important food source for female bumblebees that emerge early. Although they go dormant by midsummer, the beauty and uniqueness of this native cannot be understated. Following the Mertensia, we have intermixed this area with Phlox severicata, or woodland phlox. Blooming in May, the phlox will pick up right where the Mertensia left off, giving this garden a momentary waves of blue look. Woodland phlox is highly fragrant and drought tolerant. Giving it a light sheer after flowering can rejuvenate the foliage for a fresh look the rest of summer. Planted among the blue flowering natives, we have our staple Carex, Carex pensylvanica. Likely one of the most popular in its genus, Carex pensylvanica will grow no more than a foot high and add a grass texture to our flowering natives to make a cohesive palette. Pen sedge is one of the most durable sedges out there with the ability to grow in full sun to full shade. It is drought tolerant and can even be used as a lawn substitute. The Island Garden has been established for quite some time. Looking up to the canopy, this garden is planted under a small grove of oak trees and an established cornice alternifolia. Being surrounded by a gravel drive does not deter the plants as they've adapted well to their habitat over the years. Give this combination a try next time you're looking for a new plan to diversify your landscape.